Hello and welcome to another edition of Tribulation Ready Survival. I'm Michael and today we have a video about keeping your home or keeping your house or lifeboat, whatever you want to call it, in good repair. Because when you're in a survival situation, the last thing you want to do is have a problem with your home. So home maintenance is important. Uh, you need to know how to do some things and I'm going to show you how to do dryer vent cleaning. Now I've got a whole bunch of tools right here in front of me and I'm going to go over each one that I'm using and uh, just know that I will be using some special tools not for anything that you'll need to know but things that will help me see what I'm doing behind the camera. So that being said let's move on with the video. Okay, so one of the first things you can do if you're thinking about doing this, this is going to cost several hundred dollars if you have somebody come out to do it. But my neighbors threw this away. It was brand new in the box, and I've used it several times. It works great. This is just a uh, cleaning system that has brushes and stuff on it that uh, you can put into your, dr your dryer vent and I've even used it in gutters, but you can put it into your dryer vent with your cordless drill and it will have a spinning brush that goes through there and it'll clean it up, scrape out the inside of your uh, dryer vent pipe. Um, works pretty well. I know that my, my dryer vent pipe on this home is about 18 feet. So, this isn't going to be quite long enough. It's 12 foot, but I'm going to go from one direction, 12 feet, and then I'm going to come back in from the other direction and go 12 feet, and then that will be more than enough. And I'll show you how that works here in just a little bit. So, besides one of these, you could also use a 20 foot drain snake. And the way that would work is, once you get everything taken care of, as far as moving everything away from your dryer vent and uh, all that, you would run this tip all the way out through the vent until you can get the other end of it. Tie a large rag or a towel or something on this that will drag through the vent and uh, clean out all the lint and stuff that's you know possibly clogging that up um, now if it's completely clogged you might want to run this through first and then run a towel do it a couple of times um, but that's not how I'm going to do it today I have done that in the past um, but I just find this to be a little more uh, fun I think it's more fun um, is it a hard job this is kind of hard this is uh, a little past DIY but definitely doable by by most people. So with that being said, you're going to need a screwdriver. Um, these are screwdrivers that come apart. This side of the screwdriver is going to be very important because it has a hex head. This is a, I believe, an eight millimeter on this side, eight or nine, and is going to be perfect for getting the back of the dryer off. Now, I'm going to take the back of the dryer off because I know what I'm doing with the dryer, but that may not be for you, and you'll just do the best that you can. Just make sure your dryer lines are, are clear. That's, that's kind of what the goal is here. But I'm going to go a little bit further than that, and uh, you'll get to see that. Now, the next thing you'll see right over here, we'll, we'll pan the camera, is my leaf blower. Now this is an electric leaf blower and I like the electric one for a main reason is that I can use it in the house and then of course a shop vac. This is just for cleaning up your mess and getting in. I'm going to use it to get into the back of the dryer. And uh, Of course you're going to need a cordless drill or a corded drill if you want. I've done it with corded drill too. Either way and then you're going to need a flashlight some sort of flashlight so you can see what you're doing because when you're behind a dryer it's going to get dark um, 
And for me, uh, that's almost impossible to see. So I'm going to have lots of flashlights and things that I can use to see what the heck's going on back there. So this is the dryer vent on the side of the house. Now, yours may be a little bit different. Um, I'm kind of lucky with the way this one is because these louvers here are plastic and they're very flexible. They just bend a little bit and then they come out. I can get my finger in there. And uh, as you can see, there's some dryer lint in here. Not making anything. Save these, don't lose them. Uh, not making anything uh, perfect here because this is kind of how you know it needs to be cleaned when stuff gets covered and then you have a you have a little bit of dryer lint build up in there and if it gets any worse it could clog up but the whole thing about this is not worried about the, the clog this could get really hot and if you let this build up it could catch on fire which again you know house fires are not good but this happens this actually happens people's dryer vents get full because they don't think about it and their houses catch on fire well then you're really in a survival situation so all right we're going to save these to the side now i'm going to go inside and prep everything and then we'll come back out and i'll set the camera off to the side just a little bit and we'll watch as all this mess gets blown out and see how dirty this is. I'm gonna take the dryer, I'm gonna pull it out from the wall, and in that, uh, behind that, you're gonna see a couple of things. A flexible hose duct, which we will disconnect, and a 220 volt power plug-in. Both you need to be very careful with. The 220 volt, when you pull it out, you need to make sure that you do not touch any of the prongs. That is enough electricity to kill you. And the flexible hose duct, you just got to be real careful with it so you don't rip it. So, here is the flexible hose duct. Sorry for the angles. It's cramped back here. So, okay. So this is the flexible hose duct. Uh, luckily this stuff's pretty close. I can kind of see what I'm doing here. But um, So I'm going to loosen this clamp and it'll come off of this here. And then I will loosen this clamp right now. And this is just a, col a uh, like you pinch it and it slides right off. Pinch it and it slides right off. Okay, we'll take care of the cleaning of that here in a little bit. Because it's pretty dirty. It's about normal for a year. Now, if you look up here, this is a 220 volt. I don't know if that's in focus, I can't tell. But that is a 220 volt. So, the way that you're going to have to do that, since this is disconnected, I'm going to push the dryer forward as far as I can. Now, I'm going to make sure that I touch just the top. I'm not sticking my finger in the socket or anything crazy. I'm going to just pull straight out. Just like that. Okay, so this is an 8 millimeter. And I'm just going to rotate this enough. Not a whole lot. I'll take the whole thing off. Just enough to make it loose so that it will slide off the drain, or the drain, the, the vent pipe here. And I don't know if you can see that. I can't, but this is the, the vent pipe. And so we're going to be running that drill brush all the way down here. A little over halfway and then we will do the same thing on the outside I'm gonna do the outside first by the way and uh, we will see what it looks like how much garbage is actually in here but 
needs to be cleaned and uh, we'll get that taken care of. Also, this flexible duct work is pretty crow grody in there, so we're gonna we're gonna get that taken care of too. I could replace it, but it's not necessary. Um, that's what the shop vac is for. So, <clears throat> okay, all right. So this one comes with a brush that is perfectly the right size to fit in this vent. And there's already stuff coming out. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try not to fall over here. So I'm going to shove this in the vent. Now, with these flexible pieces here, you've got to be careful because they will bind up and it could slap you in the face. So, go slow. Feed it in. Spin it a little bit. And pull it out. A little bit of oddly satisfying, right? Eat it up there. Feed it in a little bit. Pull it out. I'm going to add another piece on here. That's the end piece. Man, this is tough. Try not to fall over. Alright, I'm gonna pull this out because I'm losing my balance here. We'll pull it out. Feed it back in. Okay, so now I have stuff in there. I'm going to take the back off of here, and I'm not going as far inside as the heating element, but I'm going to do my best to vacuum out the inside of this. Okay, so I've got all the screws removed from the back of this thing, and I'm going to get inside to clean it. Now, this is probably not as far as you should go, and I probably shouldn't go this far either, but you know what? Maybe I'm doing something dumb, I don't know. We'll find out. But the top has to come off too, because there's a screw here and a screw here that allows for this back to peel away down there at the bottom so we can get in there to clean. Okay, so we're done. Everything's put back in exactly backwards of the way that it was taken out. We got our bit of oddly satisfying of the length. I went back and just watched the video. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of mess. And that's just one year worth of lint. And uh, if you don't clean your dryer vent out, you probably got a lot worse than that. Um, the fact is, you need to protect your home. And cleaning out your dryer vent is one of the easiest ways to prevent a fire in your home. Uh, I have a mess here. I have a lot of tools to put away. And um, I have no doubt 
that you can do this project at home with a little bit of knowledge, maybe even with some help. Um, this was a great project that needed to be done, and you can protect your lifeboat, your whatever you want to call it, your bug-in location, whatever you call it. You can protect your house doing this. And this, I believe, is a great lesson. If you have comments, please comment down below. If you came here from the Facebook link on our Facebook page, Tribulation Ready Survival, comment over there, please. It helps with the algorithms uh, to, I don't know what that all means, but basically it means that we become more popular, I guess. I don't know. But comment on both. Give us a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. If you want to be part of our Facebook page, go over to Tribulation Ready Survival on Facebook. Ask, ask, answer a couple of questions. It's pretty simple. We'll let you in the group and you can share. Uh, we all share and talk about all kinds of stuff related to Tribulation, related to God. Um, I'm going to clean this mess up. And uh, all in all, this took about three hours. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.